folks. Welcome into some WNBA action on 2K Sports. And tonight we'll see the Chicago Sky as they go up against the Atlanta Dream. Coming to you from the beautiful city of Atlanta, I'm Blake Suniga. Joining me courtside are Brian Banafitemi and Tim Swartz. Sky off the tip. And here's Mabry. Pass to Williams. Harrison. Harrison sets a screen. And here's Mabry. Good, and the assist goes to Kalia Copper. It's easy to see Copper's phenomenal fundamentals. When she sees a wide open shooter, she makes sure they get the ball. Now here's Howard. Billings, defended by Harrison. Back to McDonald. Five on the clock. Parker with the screen. And she starts out with a miss in this one. And a bit of a battle for the ball, and the official signals a jump ball there. And Atlanta has possession. Outside, McDonald. Pass to Howard. Now Billings. She's guarded by Williams. Parker with the screen. Goes up at the stripe. She can't get that one. The Sky go the other way with it. Outside, Williams. Marina Mabry on the wing. Eleven feet out, and she hits it. A very effective shooter. Mabry well within her range there. Almost a layup if she's open. Pass to Billings. Gray with it. Parker with the screen. Elizabeth Williams with the block. Now here's Williams. Gray defending. To the inside. Here's Harrison. And there is a sky with another bucket. And I'm sensing this game really starting to swing their way. Yeah, they're taking charge, no doubt about it. And that lead's going to get more and more comfortable as they do. I agree, Brian. Let's see how this one plays out. Now here's Howard. Pass to Billings. Back to Parker. It's stolen by Elizabeth Williams. Outside Mabry. Copper outside. Six on the shot clock. Harrison the screen. Shot from 12, and a jumper falls for. Four makes on four shots. Everything has fallen for them early. The dream trail. Atlanta calls timeout. Well, the coaches, they clearly don't like what's going on there, and they want to talk things over. And why wouldn't they talk things over? I mean, really, you had to take a timeout there, and you try to take away some of the opponent's momentum. Quarter play, and we're about three minutes in. Pass to Billings. McDonald with it. And Williams picks her up defensively. Looking to end the drought. And Parker lays it in. Took them a while to get going. They finally connect on their fourth shot of the game. Here's Williams. Copper outside. Harrison sets the screen. with the rebound. Well, all good things must come to an end, and they finally miss after making their first four shots. Back to Howard. McDonald. Pass to Howard. Rebounded by Copper. That's four misses on their first five attempts. Still trying to get into the flow offensively. 
good on the shot. And the hands and awareness of McDonald starting that break. Nice job by this team getting points off the turnover. Now here's Williams. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Now here's Copper. Shot clock at six. Pass to Harrison. And it's Billings with the rebound. There was just enough defensive pressure to get her off balance. Back to Gray. Howard. Jacks up a three. And Harry McDonald gets the three. Streaky from deep. Once McDonald hits one, more can follow. Watch out. to Harrison and here's Williams outside Williams copper outside Harrison the screen and Kalia copper gets the three gutsy shot to come right back at her with a three of her own great attitude yeah we know she is never afraid to trade shots with anyone now here's McDonald Great. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Chicago leading. Outside Williams. Harrison the screen. The kick out to Williams. Good. And the assist goes to Kalia Copper. They've been hot here early, dropping them in left and right. And we'll see how long they can keep it going. McDonald. Outside Parker. Parker with the screen. Outside Howard. Pass to Billings. Now Parker. And she bangs in the layup. Bringing hustle and heart to the court. Parker has become indispensable for her team. Time called here. The Sky decide to talk it over. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And it's the Sky ball. Six point lead. Back to Williams. Stolen by Danielle Robinson. To Durr. Fires the three. And again, Atlanta with the triple. A pass from Robinson gets the ball to a wide open shooter. Selfless play pays off with an assist. Williams with it. Here's Endor Ball. Outside Williams. Just five on the clock. Here's the three. And once again, off the mark by Chicago. Her up top. She's guarded by Williams. Takes the three. That shot missing. And Chicago will come the other way. Here's Gardner. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. For three, hits it from three-point range. Well, they're off to an incredible start from long range. Yeah, lighting it up from outside. Hard to keep up with this. Outside dirt. Back to Robinson. Outside dirt. It's Nia Coffee on the wing. Tried to come right back with a three of her own, but it's no good. Outside Williams. Pass to Gardner. Got a hand on it. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. Number 22.
And so it's Chicago with it. Six-point game. And here is Robinson. Outside dirt. Six to shoot. Puts it up from 12. Rebound Chicago. Well, you have to like the work of the boards here in the first. Yeah, coming out of the gates with great energy. You kind of like they got shot out of a cannon. They're really setting the tone. Boom. That's and Norfall the gets the bucket. With the size advantage as big as it was right there, that's exactly what she should do in that situation. Take it strong to the middle. Some tough offensive sets, and they really want to turn it around. They got to lock in and need a basket just to regain some momentum. Now here's Coffee. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. For three. Doesn't go that time. She may have been surprised to find herself so open, and maybe that's why she missed. Outside Williams. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Two second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Side Robinson. Outside Dirt. They need this. A shot off that time. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. The sky out in front. They lead by eight. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. beginning in just a moment and when you consider how the sky are doing guys what are your thoughts scoring is coming threes for the most part so far yeah, and every time down the floor it seems like they're hitting a triple the dream trail outside McDonald pass to coffee McDonald that's good, and it's Mia Coffey with the assist. Well, this time, it's McDonald getting set up, knocking down the J off the push pass. Now here's Mabry. Now here's Copper. And good that time. Perfect screen there. Set her up with a terrific look. Yeah, but that's a bad job by the defender to not fight through that screen to contest. You want to see more effort there. Now McDonald. Pass to Parker. Billings. And she misses her first shot. They've been the glass heaters today, guys. Just a ton of effort out of them down low. And they've needed every one of those rebounds. That's what's put them in front. Stolen by Nia Coffey. And we played just over a minute of basketball in the second quarter. To the middle. After two misses to start the game, she's on the board with that shot. Well, that's where Coffey can do the most damage. When she's working inside, she has a deep back. Back to Mabry. Copper, defended by Coffey. The three. Green with the rebound. Pass to McDonald. Billings. Shot clock at five. Kept alive. Back to Coffee. Beyond the arc. Nailed from three point land. And hey, Coffee can make this shot, especially when given room. Chicago in the lead. Copper outside. And she was fouled in the act of shooting an opportunity for a three point play. So both teams changing it up here.
Well, the growth that Kalia Copper has shown over her career is remarkable, incredible. She never stopped looking for ways to sharpen her skills. And all of that hard work, it's really paid off, guys. Now here's Gray looking for her first basket still in this one. Pass to Howard. Tipped away. It's stolen by Elizabeth Williams. On the wing, Kalia Copper. Gray defending. Back to Copper. Outside, Williams. Shot clock at three. Fires from deep. It's rebounded by Atlanta. Not quite enough defense that time around. Lucky she was off. I just hope that was a mistake by the D. Because if that's how they plan to guard her, they're going to have serious problems. Now here's Gray. Pass to Howard. And here's McDonald. Parker gets the bucket. Well, that's a strong finish for a player who is no stranger to physical play. Parker is not afraid to get her elbows dirty at either end. And just over three and a half minutes played in the second quarter. On the wing, Kalia Copper. Harrison the screen. Here's Copper. It doesn't go for her. Some solid defense from Cheyenne Parker. Gray outside. Ooh, no luck on that one. So Chicago will take it the other way. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Pass to Copper. Harrison. Rena Mabry for three. Gets it to go from downtown. When you're 6'3 like Harrison, you get a nice view of the court. It allows you to see open teammates. Here's Howard. She's covered by Copper. Howard inside. <gasps> and count the basket. She was fouled, and she's going to the line for one more. You know, Ryan Howard has got a good sense for finding her shots, and she is always ready to attack, which means the defense essentially has to watch her at all times. Now here's Mabry. She's got eight. On the wing, Kalia Copper. Harrison sets a screen. Here's Copper, and again, it's the sky from deep. And guys, her consistent shooting, it's helped them take this lead. Pass to Coffee. Jones outside. Parker with the screen. To the paint. Terrific assist and a nice finish. Just a solid play all around. And their shots are falling now with more regularity than we saw at first. Yeah, slow start, but they're starting to heat up, and that could help them narrow the gap. That's the stop. Now here's Mabry. Williams, Parker defending. Side Williams. Here's Copper. And again, it's Chicago with a three. three They're going back to the three point shot over and over again. They might have found the Achilles heel of this defense. That was their ninth straight point from beyond the arc. Here's McDonald. He has six. Outside Howard. McDonald. Back to Howard. Clock at six. Basket good. They continue to get it inside. The defense struggling to just contain them. And look, when you make five in a row from in tight like they have, it also just takes pressure off of your perimeter, guys. Great point. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. Nice take. Staying aggressive with this game still very much up in the air. And Williams gets it to go. Well, to be a forward in the WNBA, you have to score against good D. Williams up to the task. The dream trail. On the wing, Ryan Howard. Outside, Parker. Howard. Parker with the screen. Got it for her fourth 
field goal of the game on just five shots. Well, tough start scoring, but they're starting to turn it around now. Yeah, they seem to have taken the lid off the basket, gaining a little bit of confidence. See if they can keep rolling. Now here's Mabry. He's got eight. Now a timeout called by Chicago. Substitution on the court. Pass to Gardner. And here's Mabry. Robinson covering. Here's Williams. On the wing, Courtney Williams. Six on the shot clock. Williams the screen. Here's Mabry. Well-placed jumper from the free throw line. Some impressive creativity from Mabry. Operating the pick and roll like a surgeon. Durr with it. Jones outside. And that'll be Atlanta's ball as it goes out of bounds. Green able to keep the ball here. Checking in for Chicago. Number 22. Outside Robinson. Pass to Kubai. Puts up a three. The shot that time not on target. Just a slight advantage for them in the rebound department. Yeah, especially when you're scoring the ball at, at even a decent clip. They've done what's necessary to take the lead. Well, it's her pace that makes her so hard to keep track of whenever she's on the court. And if you lose her, she's just going to explode to the rim. Robinson with the ball. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Now here's Jones. Pass to Robinson. Dubai. Clock at four. Shoots over Williams. And once again, off the mark by Atlanta. Chicago leading. Here's the pick. Shot from 12. And another basket for Chicago. She burrowed her way in there. And the D just sort of backed off. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, it's been a long time without a bucket. Focus. Jones outside. Pass to Durr. Here's Hillman. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. Very clever passing. She put that ball on a silver platter for her. Here's Williams. Gardner with it. Guarded by Durr. Right side, Williams. From D. And it's Atlanta with the rebound. Well, sometimes you just want to show off your range. I mean, we already know how good her range is. So I don't know why she's firing from that deep. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Endor Fall. And here's Gardner. Now Endor Fall. Knocks down the three ball. That's a great job by Rebecca Gardner of rotating the basketball. And her teammate ends up with a wide open look. Got a piece of it. And that'll be Atlanta's ball as it goes out of bounds. Dream able to keep the ball here. Substitution on the court. Courtney Williams with the steal. And so that's the end of the first half. It's the sky up by 12. And don't go away after the break. We'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three.
getting back to the action now. It's been a one-team show so far, but we'll see if that changes. And we've seen Copper really getting it done out there. Well, in a game this important, we knew they were going to need a big performance from her. And in that first half, she delivered. But here in the second, the stakes are raised even higher. So she's going to have to continue to give them someone to lean on. Hello and welcome back. Third quarter just about to get going in what has been a runaway of a game so far. Gray outside. Pass to Howard. Here's McDonald. Parker, she's guarded by Williams. Shot clock at six. Back to McDonald. Over Mabry. Misses off the left iron. With the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be. And that's firmly in the driver's seat. Rebounding, it's an effort stack. Uh, they've been the more determined team to this point. And here's McDonald. Gray outside. Pass to Howard. Now here's McDonald. Mabry covering. Back to McDonald. Howard, six to shoot. The shot from 20 feet, and it's hauled in by Williams. Well, she rushed that one, but he was out of position, but she couldn't make him pay. Outside Mabry. Here's Copper. Yes, and a nice assist for Marina Mabry. They need to get way more disruptive defensively. They just can't keep allowing these easy buckets. You know, get a little physical, show some effort. Defensively, that's job number one. Effort, nothing easy inside. She's getting her first free throw attempts of the night. Shooting for Atlanta, Monique Billings. Taking two shots. First free throw is good. And she makes both free throws. Third quarter of play with just over one and a half minutes gone by. Now here's Mabry, guarded by McDonald. Outside Williams. Five to shoot. Pass to Harrison. Gray outside. Howard. Parker with the ball. Parker with the screen. The three is up. Alicia Gray, and that's good. Oh, we've seen Gray make huge strides shooting wide, becoming more than solid from beyond the arc. Pass to Harrison. And here's Williams. about 19 feet and there are the sky with another bucket up and in on every one of their first three shots to start this second half outside Parker Parker with the screen Gray outside pass to Billings basket is good the assist from Alicia Gray now here's Mabry. He's got 12. Williams. On the wing, Kalia Copper. And there's the call on Ryan Howard. That is the first foul of the game. Team foul. Substitution on the court. Now Harrison. Pass to Williams. Williams sets the screen. Williams. She hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Everything working for them out of the half as they've hit four of their first five tries. Here's Coffee. On the wing, Alicia Gray. Parker with the screen. 
McDonald with it. From downtown, and again, Atlanta with the triple. Just like the coaches drew it up, easy hoop, Gray with the perfect feet. Williams with it. Five points in the game. Copper outside. Williams the screen. And Elizabeth Williams is going to pick up the foul. That is the first foul of the game. Second team foul. In for the sky. Rebecca Barker. One item that stood out is their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it's tough to defend. Copy outside. Parker with the screen. Pass to Billings. Just five to shoot. From deep. And McDonald gets it to go. Great outside shooting is really fueling this run. And the D's just getting bombarded. They haven't been able to slow them down. And so it's Chicago with it. At one point, they led by 16. Outside, Williams. Stolen by Nia Coffey. Back to McDonald. Coffey outside. Shot clock at six. Pass to McDonald. The three. They get the rebound. And she lays it straight in. She's got a great read of where that miss was going, and that enabled her to be the first player to it and get the put back. Outside Williams. And she uses the glass on the layup. You know, she might be 5'8", but Williams has tons of different ways to finish at the hoop. Hard to stop. The dream trail. Pass to Billings. Gray. Parker with the screen. Now here's Coffey. Let's go with a three. That shot off. They are really getting the work done inside with their rebounding tip. They haven't allowed many second chances. It's been one and done for the most part, and that's helped them build this lead. And here's Williams. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Parker. Williams can't get it to go. That's too good a look to pass up there, despite the result. Here's McDonald. He's got 12. Pass to Coffey. Parker. Parker with the screen. From 12 feet out. Gray, no good. Chicago in the lead. And here's Williams. He's got seven. And again, it's Chicago with a three. Her assist average has increased each year in the league. Williams has become a more willing passer. Great find. They really want to find that igniter here. That's right. Their offense is ground to a standstill. Maybe you need to suit up, Tim. They need a spark. Atlanta calls timeout. And the sky making a change here. And so here's Atlanta. Trailing by 10. Pass to Coffee. Basket is good. The assist from Danielle Robinson. She did so well to lead her teammate right to the ideal spot. That's the kind of playmaking coaches like to see. Now here's Williams. Tries from seven. The shot, no good. And it's Atlanta the other way. Pass to Robinson. Outside dirt. Jones. 11 feet out, and that one drops for I like the set they ran there. Now here's Williams. She has seven. Now 
Garden. Just five on the clock. They get a hand on it. Durr with it. Pass to Hillman. Five on the clock. Gardner pulls it in. Well, with little defensive pressure, she turned a high percentage shot into a low percentage shot by employing the fadeaway. Textbook. Nice pass. Nice catch. Nice shot. Jones outside. Somehow ignores the tight D and gets the layup. Well, the pick didn't exactly neutralize the defender, but good concentration on the finish to still get the points. Here's Williams. She's got nine. And there's the pick inside. Great pass to set up the land. Plays the guard position so well. Rebecca Gardner with a crisp dish that time. Here is Robinson. There's a four second difference from the shot clock and game clock. It's Danielle Robinson on the wing. Jones. Basket is good. The assist from Danielle Robinson. Fed her teammate off the bounce there. That was a nice play. Rebecca Gardner on the wing. That will count. Buzzer. That's a big time three to extend their lead right at the buzzer. What a way to head in the fourth. The third quarter comes to a close. Sky out in front. They lead by eight. And coming up as soon as we return from the break, the fourth quarter gets underway. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. What a terrific, unselfish play. Could have tried to take it herself, but chose to set up her teammate. And what a setup it was. Yeah, and as a two guard, she's typically not a reluctant shooter. So it was really nice to see her orchestrating for her teammates instead. Welcome back as we get set to start the four. to Copper. Here's Gardner. Shot clock at five. And that one goes in as she's fouled. It'll be three points if she can convert the free throw. Well, Rebecca Gardner is a good shooter, and that shows through at the free throw line as well. And Atlanta has possession. 11 point game. Outside Durr, back to Howard. McDonald, she's covered by Copper. And McDonald gets it to go. Again, it's Ari McDonald. She's putting on a show. Ari can do no wrong. Now here's Mabry. This one for three, and again, it's the sky from D. She's had such a steady hand, and I think watching this game, she's the one responsible for getting them this lead late. Yeah, her shooting percentage is unreal right now. Just so dependable here today. Now here's McDonald to Howard. Just five to shoot. Billings. And the shot goes in. Really, that's a strong suit. The ability to find a way through the D and finish at the rim. Now here's Mabry. Not a lot of room. That one drops for her. Yeah, she's a big reason why they have the lead. Because, look, she's made all of her field goals so far and remains a hot hand.
A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. Pass to Howard. Parker. Gray, left side. Block at six. There's McDonald. And Atlanta, another bucket. Yeah, she certainly is not the one to blame for them being in the hole today. She's been right on the money. Now, here's Garden. Outside Mabry. Down low. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. She's got the ability to take over a game. Mabry having herself a night. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone. On the wing, Ryan Howard. Parker puts it up from 15. And a little luck that time, but it drops. She was one step ahead of the D in making that pass. Nice assist. And it's the sky ball. At one point, they led by 16. Pass to Copper. And here's Harrison. Marina Mabry on the wing. basket for Chicago. She's having one of those days where if she takes it, she makes it. Gray outside. Howard. Now Parker. That's in. Coming off an assist from Ryan Howard. That's some good awareness from Howard right there. She is excellent at getting the ball to her open teammates. Pass to Copper. Harrison. Harrison sets a screen. Here's Mabry, and it's Chicago with another. Yeah, you know how a lot of people talk about flipping the switch? Well, her switch has definitely been flipped to on in this quarter, guys. I mean, just dominant scoring. Drills the three-pointer. Works hard moving without the ball. You know, Parker's a player whose value goes beyond the box score. Pass to Copper. Harrison with the ball. Harrison sets a screen. Arena Mabry for three. And again, it's the sky from deep. With that three, her second of the half, she's equaled her total from before the break. McDonald with it. Now Parker. In it goes for the eighth time in 10 attempts. You simply cannot say enough about the quarter she's having. I mean, every one of her attempts has gone down. On offense, here are the sky. They lead by 11. Copper outside. Knocks it loose. Five to shoot. Outside Mabry. Off the mark there with the three. They can shave the deficit to single digits right here. To the middle. Parker gets the bucket. She's leading away offensively. Can they ride her back into it? And so it's Chicago with it. Outside Mabry. To Gardner. Six on the shot clock. Harrison sets a screen. Inside. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Great footwork by Harrison. So active. A very nice pick and roll partner who will cut hard. The dream on offense. They trail by 11. Now Howard. And too long on the shot. Rebecca Gardner on the wing, guarded by McDonald. Yes, count it. Keep the game simple. When Harrison gets some space, sees the mid-range jumper open up, she takes it. And Atlanta has possession. Here's Gray, pass to Parker. And here's Billings. 
Gray to the inside. Here's Parker. It's hauled in by Harrison. The D was ready for her that time, and they had to be. She is strong in the paint. Outside Mabry. To the paint. And there are the sky with another bucket. Mixing it up inside. Mabry might be under six feet, but her toughness showing there. And they've been looking at a sink offensively. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Atlanta calls timeout. To the inside. Howard up top. She's covered by Copper. Pass to Billings. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Heads up play by Parker. Wasn't able to find her own shot, so she kicks it to someone who is ready to attack. Now here's Williams. Outside Howard. Down low. Parker. And fouled hard that time. She'll get two shots at the line. Well, a little contact is the least of Parker's worries. She doesn't mind playing physical. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And here's Williams. Pass to Mabry. A three ball. Drills it from outside. You cannot give Mabry any breathing room from deep. She's an absolute sharpshooter. And so here's Atlanta. It's a 14-point game. Cheers. Outside Howard. Parker with the screen. Here's McDonald. Great D that time from Elizabeth Williams. And so it's Chicago with it. Pass to Copper. To Williams. Shot from 12. Good. And the assist goes to Kalia Copper. And every point they get now puts them one step closer to finishing this one off. If they haven't already done it, just a tremendous all around performance we've seen from them. Yeah, Brian, it's been a treat to watch. Now here's Howard. Inside. It's tipped. Harrison with the ball. And it's Howard picking her up. McDonald out to Gray. Now Billings. That one is good. She has missed only one of her six shots from the floor. There's Chicago now. They lead by 14. Marina Mabry on the wing, guarded by McDonald. Williams with it. He's against Parker. Shot clock at six. Launches a three. Courtney Williams, and that's good. Terrific run to put this ball game away. And now let's see just how much longer they keep that foot on the accelerator. They've got to keep it on the accelerator to the finish line. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Gray. Lays it up and in despite the excellent defense. This run really not doing them any good coming as late as it has. Yeah, but give them credit for showing the fight they're showing, Tim. It would have been really easy to just throw in the towel by now. Yeah, but it's still going to be a loss probably. No problem for Chicago as they get That's the win. The end of the game. Thanks again, folks, for coming out and supporting your basketball team. Drive home safely and see you again soon.